How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be creating the most overpowered created player at the pitcher position. I'm going to be unlocking both versions of the gold created player at pitcher, both the starting pitcher and the relief pitcher. And I think that uh, with the energy bar and the ability to select your created player as the pitcher, I believe that this is going to be the most overpowered strategy. You're going to unlock a couple different versions of each. And I believe you'll be able to use all four if I'm understanding everything correctly. Now, if you already have a pitcher, correct me if I'm wrong in this video. But because you're able to unlock an 85 overall starting pitcher, an 85 overall closing pitcher, as well as an 88 overall starting pitcher and 88 overall closing pitcher, I would think after completing these moments and, and completing some online innings that you'd be able to use all four of those cards in rotation and that they would all have each individual stamina and energy bar for selection. So what I mean by that is if you use the 88 starting pitcher, you might be able to replace the 88 with the 85 starting pitcher and use them in back-to-back -back games with, and then also have to put your uh, 88 starting pitcher back in the rotation for another game to rest before you would be able to use them again or another couple of games. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm not quite sure if that's correct, but we're getting into some of these moments right here. And the best tip I can give you for these moments is try to complete the uh, longer moments first. You have to strike out 11 batters. You have to pitch six innings. So I would complete those first. And then the majority of the other moments are relief pitching moments. So you have to pitch one inning, strike out a couple guys or get a save or you know pitch out of a jam bases loaded and situations like that but these moments are pretty simple it took me about 45 minutes to an hour to complete all of these moments and uh, I was able to complete most of them on the first try the one that I had the most difficulty with was Josh Hader's moment on Hall of Fame difficulty I'll get into that a little bit later this one is with Araldus Chapman you need two strikeouts and uh, not give up a run or not give up a home run something like that but I'm looking to get this last out right here and as I do this, I have completed the collections for the starting pitchers within the creative player. That gave me a few program stars, or that gave me the initial bronze. And then, of course, once I complete these starting pitcher and closing pitcher moments, then I'll be able to unlock the gold card, use that gold card in online innings or against the computer for a little bit more innings and earn that 85 and 88 overall diamond. When you select uh, the 88 diamond, you also get a closing pitcher. Each time you choose a diamond, you get both a starting and closing pitcher. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm curious about the stamina, though. I They might go ahead and patch it eventually if that is the case. But I think that if you're able to use four uh, pitchers as a creative player, two different tiers for each, a closing pitcher and starting pitcher, and then also have a maxed out position player as a creative player, let's say catcher second base or shortstop then i think you're pretty much set in all the positions and you will have a lot of versatility you'll be able to use a uh, a regular catcher for some games if you need a, to pitch with your uh, starting pitcher to you know save some energy for some of your other guys or rejuvenate some energy that way uh, i know that a lot of people select a glitchy motion like i said earlier i'm going to kind of base this creative player off of myself i'm going to be creating myself in this game and I'm going to be choosing the archetypes based on how I used to kind of play obviously uh, the creative player might throw a little bit harder than I did I only topped out at 87 88 miles an hour maybe once or twice in my entire life I sat around in the mid 80s and I did have a lot of movement on my pitch so I'm going to select the break focused pitcher for the final decision uh, for the starting pitcher at least for my relief pitcher I might go with the balanced focus because that repertoire is more similar to the repertoire that I threw. I never threw a cutter, so I'm not going to choose a creative player that has a cutter at least for the 88 overall selection. I might choose the velocity focus for my 85 overall uh, closing pitcher, but I'll talk a little bit about that more in this video. I wanted to talk about this moment in general right here as Kirby Yates. This first batter is going to bunt every time, and as you can tell from the first time, Manny Machado just decided to run into the baseball, didn't even make the play, but if you're able to get the guy out at second, you keep the double play alive, and it makes this moment a lot easier. 
So I did save the Josh Hader moment uh, for a little bit later on because it is a two game moment and I already unlocked the gold created player so I didn't necessarily even have to complete this one but I wanted to because then once I complete the online innings I'll be able to select the diamond right away rather than having to do those online innings multiple times I or I don't even know if you can do that I think you might have to end up doing this mission regardless but the number one tip I can give you on this mission, since you have to strike out four batters, you want to try and strike out the side here in the first game. Since it's split up over the course of two games, you want to try and strike out the side. It's important to check out what quirks uh, these certain players have. And if you're able to get ahead in the count, you might want to waste a pitch. I'm trying to get the batter to chase. I'm not trying for him to hit the ball or put it in play at all, unless he's going to foul the ball off in uh, out of play territory. To, to where those fielders can't automatically make the play. So I was able to strike the side out. The reason why you want to get three strikeouts in the first game is because you're going to be facing Cody Bellinger, Justin Turner, and Mookie Betts here. So those three batters, I believe, all have the unfazed quirk. It makes it extremely more difficult to strike them out based on that quirk. They hit better with uh, two strikes. So if you're trying to get those strikeouts, it's going to be a little bit more challenging to strike uh, all three of those batters out rather than striking out the first three batters even though you have to face Mookie Betts in that one too so here I'm showing you that how you're able to collect the remaining uh, program stars or I guess created player stars for this selection if I pitch 75 innings online I'll be able to unlock the remaining 30 program stars and make both of the selections but here are the base stats for the starting pitcher created player uh, they're pretty good. I mean, 84 stamina, uh, mid-70s, uh, hits and Ks per nine, mid-70s, really everything. Velocity in the 80s, break in the 82, that's pretty good as well. The pitch repertoire is decent. Uh, four seam, slider, change up, 12-6 curveball. When you unlock the gold starting pitcher, you also unlock the gold closing pitcher. So here are the base stats for this guy. I'm also going to get into the equipment that I purchased. Uh, the diamond equipment that I purchased for this specific created player for my pitcher as well as some uh, equipment that will help me with my created player at catcher so this ritual axle grease gives plus five to four categories pitching clutch K's per nine home runs per nine which doesn't really do much but also walks per nine which is very helpful on uh, getting a good input this glove will also be helpful in fielding plus 11 that's going to help my diamond catcher as well as this plus seven arm strength plus seven accuracy but mainly the reason why i picked this glove up is because of the plus 11 k's per nine and plus seven hits per nine i also picked up a different glove but with applying that equipment to the gold created player his stats are really good this card is actually usable i mean if I added the other glove onto the creative player, it would be it would look a little different, but I kind of have two variations with those two different equipments. Here are the quirks that this gold creative player would have in game once the equipment is added. Three pretty important quirks to have. I don't necessarily think that the home run quirk matters as much. It's it's more of a threshold attribute for that home runs per nine. Now we are looking at the closing pitcher creative player with the equipment added. That uh, that black. Under Armour glove that is a, a pretty good glove to have now I also bought a different glove that gives plus 8 fielding plus 4 accuracy plus 10 walks per 9 and plus 10 stamina along with 10 hits per 9 so that is also really nice to have as a pitcher this glove is much cheaper on the market but it also gives a different look for some of these attributes and quirks with this pitcher so this is the base gold player with that equipment added with that glove that's the only change still have the same ritual and same equipment on for everything else but i wanted to kind of show you the difference this creative player would have the workhorse quirk which means that his stamina attribute is in the 90s and that uh, will also allow you to lose less energy during the game control artist as well as pressure cooker are important pressure cooker comes into play with runners in scoring position this is the creative player at closer with that mizuno glove added as equipment and the axle grease ritual so a little bit of a different variation here I wanted to focus on some of these attributes but this is simply the gold card the diamonds are going to be even better and I have the base stats but you could also factor in the equipment that I've used you can factor in those attributes and determine what those uh, 
walks, you know, walks per nine, hits per nine, Ks per nine, stamina would look like with these diamond created players. But I'm going to choose these specific ones. I'm going to choose the break focused uh, created player at uh, starting pitcher. I'm going to go with the more velocity focused 85, probably with the cutter. I'm not quite sure if I'll choose a different one, but I'm, I'm trying to focus on some of these uh, pitchers. I'm going to go with the balanced created player at closing pitcher at the 88 choice. And then I'm going to choose the break focus starting pitcher at 88 once again, because he has the repertoire that I like. I'll be able to get the attributes to where I want them. Um, both of these guys will have great quirks. The break focus and the balance focus creative player have the best quirks in my opinion. They have the cheesy, uh, throws an extremely effective fastball, throws an extremely effective changeup, and the difference in velocity from the 88 uh, for the velo focus is only a few attributes. It does not get the outlier quirk. So those are just some things to keep in mind. Uh, this is the break focus created player. I'll be selecting this one, probably going with the Under Armour glove. As the stamina is already in the 90s, I should be able to boost up that K per nine to the 90s as well and have 97 break on those pitches. That will be um, a good a good mix to have as well as it will be a decent representation of what I used to kind of pitch like in real life. Obviously, I didn't make it to the major leagues, but I did come close, or at least I had a chance to have a pre-draft workout with the Cincinnati Reds, so I'll be creating myself 